I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. The God that tells you no to save you. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring that bell, and donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, passing on the faith to the next generation, like, subscribe, ring the bell, and hit the donate tab. Is it over here? I'm thinking it is. It's right there. Give today. Your tax-deductible gift keeps higher things. An organization all about passing the faith better than I pass that treat on to the next generation. The traditional gospel lesson for Riminiscare, the second Sunday in Lent, is from Matthew chapter 15. Back in your bed, buddy. All right. And Jesus went from there and withdrew to the district of Tyre and Sidon. It's important to take note of this. Tyre and Sidon is Gentile country. Don't miss that. This is the part of Lebanon, Sidon, which was not conquered when it was should have been conquered when Joshua was um, sent into the Promised Land with the children of Israel. And behold, a Canaanite woman from that region, what other kind of person would there be, um, came up to him and was crying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely oppressed by a demon. I like the way that the, the, the Greek describes her, a woman, a uh, Canaanite. <laughs> she uses all the right words. Son of David, have mercy on me. It's not for her. It's for her daughter. My daughter is severely oppressed by a demon. But he answered, verse 23, her not a word. The deafening sound of silence. We've all had that when we pray, haven't we? We pray for something, we ask God for something, and silence. I think that's worse than no. Are you even there? And his, and his disciples came and begged him, saying, uh, send her away, for she's crying out after us. I want you to think about this a little bit. Oh, over the shoulder. Um, they go to him because the optics are so bad. I used to think that in this text they were clueless, but they're not clueless. The problem is Jesus. Why don't you answer this lady? At least answer this lady. Imagine this lady, lady she's wailing. She's crying. She's pleading. She's begging. And he doesn't give her a single word. Not a word. Send her away, for she cries out after us. Well, that was a bad toss. Um, his answer to her, and don't miss this, is his answer to them is to ignore her and speak like she isn't there. Um, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's rude. I wasn't sent for you. You're not my child. Another bad throw. It's rude how bad your throats are, Borkart. But she just simply knelt before him, saying, Lord, help me. And I don't picture this as screaming anymore as you just kneel before God, and we've all done this. We kneel before God, and we just say, help me. Help me because I, my life's a mess. Help me because I don't know how to go on. Help me because I'm dying inside. I'm lonely with people in the room. Help me because I can't kick this sin or that sin. Help me because I'm a failure. Help me because I... Help me. And now he answers her, but her an his answer is devastating to her. Who incomplete. It is not right to take the children's bread and throw it to their dogs. <laughs> So much ink spilled on this word dog. Kunari on. Um, uh, this business, so much ink. So much ink trying to protect Jesus from using this word. They say it was a little dog. It was a small dog. It was a, it was a cute little dog. As if you look at your, try this boyfriends. Look at your girlfriend. Husbands, look at your wife and, 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 and call her a dog, a female dog. You know the word. And when you do that, look at her and say, when she gets upset with, babe, it's okay. I didn't mean dog, dog. I meant dog like 
That that dog. I promise you, if you're a husband, you're going to sleep on the couch. If you're a boyfriend, she's not going to text you back because it's just not right to call a woman a dog. Here, it's even worse. You see, the Jews called the Gentiles, the Canaanites, dogs. It was a racial slur, like the N-word, like... um. Uh, like all the racial slurs that we use for people to hate them. Jesus just says an unsayable word to her. You're a dog. He could have said the S word to her. Sinner. That's another word that was synonymous with Gentile. Sinner. Stranger to God. Not on God's team. That's you. I wasn't sent to the house, lost sheep of the house of, of Israel, and you're a dog woman. And you would have thought at this point that she would have looked at him and said, oh, no, you didn't. That was painful. I'm really sorry about that. What is his deal today? Um, but he doesn't. She doesn't. She looks at him and it doesn't matter that she he has said this bad word to her. It doesn't matter that he's called her a dog. He doesn't matter that he's insulted her. It doesn't matter because she knows something about him. Yes, Lord, but yet even the dogs get the crumbs that fall from their Lord's table. Oh, oh there's faith. Faith which receives, faith which trusts, faith which knows I'm a sinner, I'm a Gentile, I'm a dog, I got no claim on God, I can use the right words, say the right prayers, do the job as thing, I can do everything that is supposed to get me something with God, and it still ends with the same thing, I'm a dog, but to the dogs go the crumbs. You see, what she knew is what you should not miss from this. Yes, he ignored her. Yes, he said he wasn't for her. Yes, he called her a racial slur, a dog, a cannabis in Latin, canine. But he was in Tyre and Sidon for her. That's why he was there. Despite all of the things that are true about what he says to her, he's there in that region, in the Gentile region, in the Tyre and Sidon region for her. And when God answers you no, when he feel, when you feel like you he ignores you, understand that before you even ask him for help, he's there in the gentile region for you. And he's there not as your enemy, not as someone who isn't for you, but for the one who laid down his life for you on the cross to save you. Luther says Jesus is a hunter in search of faith and he drives her and he pushes her and he insults her and he ignores her in order to draw out that faith from her. Woman, great is your faith. Big is your Jesus. Let it be done to you as you desire. And her daughter was healed that very instant. Learn from this woman, this dog woman. You're a sinner. You have no hold on God. You don't deserve God answering your prayers. But before you even open your mouth, he's there in that region, Calvary and Easter, for you to save you. That's what this is about. The God who goes places where he shouldn't go and finds people who he shouldn't help and drives them to believe that he is such a God as to save them, to save you which makes his no answer for you a gift too. Think about it. He's coming to save you in his words and in his promises. Even his no answer is for your good. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.